Hi, I'm Chelsea Jones, and I'm here to show you five exercises and stretches for wrist health. If you've been joining me in my videos, or if you do yoga and really use those wrists a lot, this video will be very beneficial to keep those wrists healthy and mobile. All right, for our first exercise, you can come down on your knees, and then we're gonna take our right hand, let those fingertips drop towards our knees, and then plant that hand down. Now with our other hand, we're gonna place it right on top of the other one. Just keeping it nice and secure. Now from here, we slowly lower back onto our heels, finding a big stretch in that forearm and that wrist. We're gonna hold here for a couple breaths. And I say a couple breaths because I do want you to breathe through this. All right. Nice and easy, just relaxing. And remember, if it does hurt, just ease right out of it. Okay, slowly do come out. We're gonna flip the hand to now our palm is facing up. Fingertips are still facing our knees. And then again, plant that hand, bring those hips down. And again, breathe. Remember, we don't wanna get bad posture, so keep that spine nice and straight as we're getting this stretch in. Beautiful, one more breath right here. And ease out, other side. You can shake it out. Now, left side, so dropping those fingertips towards our knees and then plant that hand down. Taking that right hand right on top and then ease down into the stretch. Beautiful, if you do need a little massage, you can do that too. If not, just keep that hand securely down. And again, breathe through this. All right, one more breath. And again, slowly ease out of it. Flip that palm facing up and then other hand meets it. Slowly ease that body back down. This is great, nice passive stretching. You don't really have to do much. All right, one more breath right here. Beautiful, slowly ease out of it and just shake those wrists out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and plant the hands down, coming into this tabletop position, and we're gonna do some nice big circles with those wrists. So sending that weight forward to the side, bringing it back around the other side. Keep doing these full circles, widening those fingertips and shifting that weight in there. Nice, two more this way. Nice and slow, feeling those muscles engage. And here we go, reverse it. So taking to the left, up towards the center, right and back. Nice, three more, just like that. Breathing through this, the breath is very important. Nice, last one. Beautiful, if you want to, shake it out after each one. All right, planting those wrists back down, we're gonna do little fingertip presses. So we press into our fingertips, bringing the palms up off the mat, and then slowly back down. Engaging those forearms as we press up, and slowly bring it back down, nice. We're gonna do four more. Press it up, and nice and low down. All right. Utilize that mat, that ground. Last one. Beautiful, nice and slow down. And then again, shake it out. We're gonna get some mobility in those wrists. So we're gonna do some inchworms. If you want a modified version, stay on those knees. When we walk it out, you're gonna walk into that plank position, keep that core and that upper body nice and straight, and then walk it back. For the full version, untuck those toes. We walk it out to that plank position. Again, nice and flat with that body. And then walk it all the way down to those feet. Again, walking it out and back. We have three more just like that. Remember, this is about the wrist. So move nice and slow. Beautiful. And again, remember that breath. 
walking it out, wrist right underneath those shoulders. Last one right here, nice and slow. Holding that plank for fun. <laughs> and slowly drop it down. From here, interlock those fingertips, crossing the thumbs. And then start to roll those wrists, nice and slow. Getting that mobility in the wrist and reverse it. Nice and easy. All right, release the hand, shake it out. Opposite thumb on top now. And again, roll it out. Feel any cracks or whatever, or feel a little stickiness, you can stay right there and then reverse. The reverse always seems a little silly, but it's good to do. All right, last little bit. And that's it. Shake it out. Great job. If you want to do this as a warm up before you start lifting weights or before you start typing on the computer, this is a great exercise to add. You can also do it just two to three times a week just to maintain that uh, wrist health. Thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to see you next time. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you never miss my videos. This video is brought to you by our loyal patrons and YouTube channel members. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts. Start your 14-day free trial today by clicking the link below.